Hey everybody, it's Karen from Our Fall Acrylics. I'm gonna get two, maybe two in one day, if not back to back days, because I just filmed, I don't know, 18 hours ago last night, got a video up. Can't show you the results, because it's behind me there, still quite wet, so I'll show you that next time. Today, um, more of a controlled pour with the Shelly R pouring medium. Um, much like the clock I showed you guys, I'm going to attempt that on a canvas. I just saw Shelly do it um, herself and post it uh, just like an hour ago. I'm like, oh, great minds again. So I'm going to try the same thing like I did to the clock and line some colors up and blow them out. Um, I got another 14 by 18 gallery wrap canvas. So down we go. Straighten you guys out. Looks pretty good. So, as usual, this is um, Glidden Essentials house paint that I am just going to pour right here. A nice little line. I'm going to spread that out a little bit. Kind of like that. Maybe just a little spread out mm, or not because I want to blow I'm kind of yeah maybe just a little like this I'm undecided if I'm going to tilt the way Shelly did or not I might let it be in the middle depending on what it looks like so we'll play that by ear kind of a terrible job, isn't it? Let me do this. Okay. All right, that looks better. All right, so same uh, recipe for the colors that I used last night, um, which was two to one ratio of the Glidden Premium Base 3 White House Paint in Semi-Gloss. And then for colors tonight, so all I did was uh, mix that with my um, Josana varnish. And then all of my reusable cups are still in the bucket. They need to be cleaned and I haven't gotten to them yet. So I'm using these little cups and um, gosh, maybe a half an ounce if that. And then I'm using uh, fluid acrylics today. I think I got all the same brand too, do I? All golden. All these are all golden fluid acrylics. So we have, uh, what's this one? Iridescent copper fine. I don't know if you really see that. I'm gonna turn out my uh, pendant lights. There we go. The iridescent copper fine. We have cronacridone magenta. Really pretty there. We have some iridescent gold deep here got mostly jewel tone colors except for one so there's a copper gold magenta and then we have some permanent violet dark very pretty so all I do is you know add the pouring medium in the cup and then you just take these and you squirt some in a little bit at a time I mean very little until you get the um, desired shade that you want which is really nice. And then you don't do anything else to them. You give them a mix, <clears throat> no water, no more pouring medium, no nothing, that's it. So that part's fairly easy. And then finally, I'm, uh, I have a feeling I'll be skipping this color because it's just so bright. I have um, pearly orange, which is just, so yeah, it's gonna be on the bench. Maybe it'll come off later, but uh, I'm gonna bench it for now. And yeah, I think I'm ready to go. My husband just took the dog out so I can talk about him now. Well, it's really not about him. So um, a couple nights ago, it was our 23rd year anniversary. I'm gonna put a little more white as a pillow here in the middle um, of our first date. And I always remember it every year. 
for a couple reasons. One is how crazy silly we were because we talked on the phone for four months before our first date. <laughs> like I'm talking mega conversations, hours and hours, multiple nights of the week on the phone. And we only lived eight miles apart. Like he was right down the road from me. It was ridiculous. And then finally one night he was like, we should go out. And I remember my knees literally buckling and I fell on the couch. I'm like, you mean like on a date? He's like, yeah. I'm just gonna um, put some lines here. Oh, I forgot my um, cell activator is left over from last night. So this is Mars Black by Liquitex mixed with the Australian Floetrol. Three to one ratio, Floetrol to paint. And that's going to be today's, well, it's very full cell activator. Um, I remember we were so silly about it because he was like, yeah, let's go out. And I'm like, okay. And he's like, well, what are you doing Friday night? And I'm like, well, actually, uh, Friday night's my birthday. And he's like, oh, we can't do that. Which made me laugh because, you know, he was such a guy. <laughs> and then, uh, that's probably paint, plenty of paint. Um, for the next couple days, we kept waffling, like, yeah, we should go out. No, we shouldn't. Like, we would call each other, like, is this a good idea? And we would go, yes, no, yes, no. And they're like, yeah, let's do it. And I remember being so nervous that when the night arrived, I remember what I was wearing and everything, because I had my best blue jeans on and, like, a black turtleneck sweater. And I was so nervous, I drank, like, two giant glasses of wine so I had a good buzz going when it came to the door and if you've seen my video where I drink I'm pretty happy drunk <laughs> so I was like hey how are you it was really funny um and he was I could tell he was nervous and we decided to meet at six like kind of after work which was ridiculous because dinner reservations were at seven and the restaurant was like literally five minutes from my house, my apartment. And, but luckily, the story I wanted to tell you is, and this is really evil of me, so don't judge me too hard. But um, I had an errand to run. And I had told him like, hey, I need to uh, stop at the store before we go. And he was like, all right. I got to clean off a spoon. Hold on. And, uh, you know, since I'm old, back in the day, there were these things called record stores. And we were having a secret Santa, you know, Christmas party at work. And I had to get a gift for a woman that I really, really despised. Like, just, she and I just, we were just oil and water, pretty much. And um, I remember her one time, in the middle of a meeting, because one thing you don't do at work is talk about politics or, you know, religion. And she was telling trying to convince people like how there is no God and we were all like um, you know you're afraid to believe in whatever you want but like don't tell us what to believe and I'm on a, not the world's most religious person but you know I believe in God <laughs> and so when I picked her name out of the bowl as the secret Santa I was like oh are you kidding me um, this is the cell activator I can't believe I got her. And there was just like a $20 limit. And then I had this genius idea of getting her um, a CD, a music CD of one of my favorite um, artists for Christmas music, which uh, back in the day was uh, Amy Grant, who's a Christian singer, beautiful voice. I love her voice. Get off the spoon. And um, she had put out a Christmas CD. And, you know, it was just like, you know, O Come All Ye Faithful and O Holy Night and Silent Night and, you know, Christmas songs that, like, you would sing at church. I'm having trouble with this going in a line. Um, and so I, I told Joe about it, and he thought it was funny, of course, because, you know, we were already some pot ago. And so that's what I got this woman 
as a Secret Santa gift for the party. So I went and got her an Amy Grant CD. <laughs> and like, it was so funny at the party because she opened it up and it was one of those like Secret Santa, you can kinda um, keep it or give it away, like that game you play. And she, um, I think someone took it from her and she was relieved, but now I was kind of bummed because the look on her face, like she, you could tell she was trying really hard not to roll her eyes when she opened it up. And you know me, like I, I was in a fit of giggles over it. But then other people at the party were like, oh, I love Amy Grant. I'll take that. And you know, it got passed around a couple of times before someone got to keep it. And I was like, aw, Ruth didn't get to keep the uh, Amy Grant CD. Anyway, every year, I swear, I think of that on the anniversary of our first date, which, you know, was perfectly lovely. Um, we went to dinner and we drove around to like the really ritzy neighborhood to look at rich people's houses, all, you know, all decorated for Christmas. And then uh, we went to a pub to have a beer and then went back to my apartment and talk, 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 talk. Nothing happened, by the way. Just talk, 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 talk for... The date started at 6 p.m. and ended at 3 a.m. when I had to kick him out of my apartment. I'm like, I gotta go to work in four hours. You gotta go, bye. And uh, the rest they say is history. Anyway, that was my little story. I'm gonna give this a blow. The black is already sinking into the colors. Uh, let's put this, my hair dryer on cool and I'll start off low. I might go to high. Here we go. pretty colors. I'm going to flip this around and add maybe a touch more black and maybe try it on high though. Really pretty cells, pretty, and I think I will probably maybe tilt this. We'll see. So let me turn it around so I'm not blowing toward you guys. Let you come up close for a second so you can see what's going on like that. And I'm gonna put a dot of black in two spots. My little container with the cell activator is very, very full, so I'm trying not to spill. But let's put a little bit right there and some. there and a little bit on this edge all right that should do it I think all right this time on high let's see what we get because I have a really wide gap now here. But let me worry about that in a minute. In a minute. The colors are so, 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 so pretty. Um, this feels, I feel like I need to blow this out this way. But I don't want to lose that. Let's tilt first. And I'll dork around with it. And we'll see what happens. And I'm gonna add just a little more white. 
At least I was smart enough to put the white in a, uh, in something with a spout, which is handy. Whoa, easy there, Karen. There. I don't think I need any on that side. That's gonna go off. And we'll put some down here to help this go off. And we'll see what happens with that black in the middle. Happy to redo it though, because I really, really like the colors. Let me grab some gloves. Sore throat is feeling uh, somewhat better. Feeling a little bit perkier. I think that's just because, uh, I'll confess, it's uh, today's my birthday. So, you know, there's presents to be had later and a nice dinner out. So, <laughs> that always puts people in a good mood, right? All right. Let's go toward you a second. Get things to touch up and take this all the way off. It's going to smush each other for a second. Go ahead. Off you go. Smush. Let me bring it back. And let's see how much that uh, middle part marries up. I don't know if I wanted to go off the sides or not. I haven't decided. Let me flip it. Gosh, the colors, y'all. <gasps> this is turning out beautiful. And I actually kind of like the blank spots in the middle. I take that back. I really do. Because it's got like so much going on in other spots. It's like a nice calming area for my eyeball. Um, I love this too. Like I like that hard edge there. Let me stare at it for a minute. Because you know, I'll find something to pick on. Have you met me? Always. I want to keep this hard edge here. So I'm just going to add a little bit of white. Have it touch and pour over the sides. Barely adding anything. Just kind of dragging paint on the canvas if you can hear that. So I don't want to pour it on. And I'll take my stick to it. Right there. And I think on this side, I just need a little bit on this corner, just a dollop, and a little string right here on this corner. Maybe the painting gods are like, you worked really hard last night. We'll go easy on you today. Or, you know, at the, uh, the flip cups with this pouring medium, it's just, they're just way harder. That's just my opinion. Or I, or I just suck at them. Probably both. But mm, they are tough. I have yet to do one um, on the first try. I think it's just, just a learning curve. I need a little more white here. Spread this out, maybe tilt a little bit side to side. It's kind of balanced on both ends. And I don't want those cells to go wonky. So I'm just gonna go a little bit this way because this side's about an inch from the edge. So we'll make the other one about an inch from the edge. And 
bring it. <clears throat> the other thing I'm deciding is, do I want that the uh, center of this to be in the middle? Because you know, I always like it when it's a little off. But um, the way you're seeing it, that's the orientation. So I see this is the top and that's the bottom. So I kind of want to flip it around so I can see it in the right orientation because I feel like I'm looking at it upside down. I do want to come over this way just a little bit. And mess with my corners. Let me stare now. I need to clean up this line over here, get rid of that. See, my husband just got home from walking the dog, so he didn't get to hear me tell the story. Although it really wasn't about him, so he shouldn't mind too much. Um, I wish I had a line. Here's me being really picky again. This are all nice and straight and has the nice lines that reach to the edge. This is super dramatic, these three. And then it kind of just dies off a little bit here. Like I wish I had a line of something going there. But I think my options would be to go side to side and have that go over on both ends or leave it. Because it doesn't, it doesn't have to be symmetrical. It's, it's perfectly lovely, I think, the way it is. But I'm, I feel like I'm so close to that edge. Let me see. Because I didn't really put a lot of paint in the middle. And it's barely moving. So I'm just going to try and straighten out these lines a little bit and leave it. And then next time, I'm definitely going to do another one of these. You're definitely going to see this again. Um, add enough paint so that these edges like fall over here, but leave the hard line here. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a diamond shape. Anyway, but I'm going to leave it like this for this one. Yeah, definitely. Um, those look straighter. Ta-da! I'm done, y'all. Yay. Let me get you down. It's super pretty. I like, um, I really like the middle with the blurring of colors too. And not too, too silly. Cells in the right, all the right places. Uh, I got paint in my hair. So, let me pop you off. Oh, come on off. Don't drop it in there. Thingy. Okay. So let me start over here. So, 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 so pretty, the colors. And then check this out here, gorgeous. I really like black as the cell activator too, really do. I like the uh, blending of the copper and gold very, very, very much. Um, and then I like the uh, violet and the magenta here too. And then see how it ends right up here? Or no, where'd it go? Down here, like that part there too. Really pretty. So yeah, I'm gonna have this one not fall off the sides. And then the next one, I'll add more paint so I can move side to side and swish it over there. But yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm gonna go uh, celebrate being old. <laughs> uh, let's say today is Thursday. No, it's Friday, Thursday. Today's Thursday. Um, I'll probably do another one of these, maybe even tomorrow, but definitely on Saturday. You guys take care, uh, have a good evening, and uh, thanks for the love and support. Like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> be inspired, but be your own artist. Yes, <laughs> take care, bye. <laughs> I'm back, I feel like the edges need to go all the way over.
a little line of color right here. Just a little drop of the magenta. Maybe a drop of the gold. this in first. better coming off. It does. Ooh, a little blow gets some lacing. That'll work. Alright. Yeah, I like it going off. I'm gonna do this side too. I'm gonna do it right in here. I'll just do like the purple and the gold. You don't need a lot. Get on there. Alright, let's take this end off too. Second, I just got paint on my shirt and just getting it off before it dries. You know, boob in the paint. What are you gonna do? All right. Like this side a lot. That's way better. I guess they're both better. Yeah, it looks more finished now. <laughs> uh, you saw it up close, right? That's it. Where am I? Okay, I'm done for reals, promise. See you guys soon, take care.